Hi crafters, I'm Rachel from The Wood Connection and today I'm going to show you a really fun idea that you can give mom for Mother's Day. This is a really fun idea that you can give mom for Mother's Day. It's personal, you can do it with your family or something that she really likes and make it personal, something that she would love forever. So what you're gonna start with is you're just gonna take one of our scalped plaques from The Wood Connection, they're $9.95, and just a photo. This one I had printed at Costco, it's 11 by 14. And all you're gonna do is you're just gonna paint the edges of your plaque to start. I kind of wanted to pick a just a neutral color that would kind of match colors in my photo, so I'm going with just a light gray color. It's called Quaker Gray. And you're just going to take a foam brush, and all you're going to do is just paint your edges. Really easy. And as you're going, you kind of want to paint just a little bit of the edge, too, just in case if you don't cut your picture right, uh, it will be a little forgiving with the paint, and you won't be able to tell. This type of wood really soaks in the paint, so you want to give it probably at least two or three coats, depending on your color. And then when you're done, you want to spray it with a matte acrylic sealer. That will just kind of help protect the wood and make the paint last a little longer. We're going to pretend that one's all painted. And I've got this one already done. It's just painted. And you'll notice on the back of these, they all have um, a slot to hang on the wall. Or if you get a dowel, you can put a dowel here in the hole and it will stand on its own. So this one I'm going to use for hanging, so I'm going to make sure that this is at the top of my photo. And I've got my picture and I'm just going to lay it flat down, down flat. <laughs> and then I'm just going to put my plaque right on top. And you kind of want to line it up where you would think and maybe kind of hold it up, up into some light and make sure that it lines up kind of where you want it. And then you're just going to take a pen and you're just going to go along and you can, you're just going to trace the picture or the scalloped frame plaque onto the photo. Okay, so once you have your scalloped plaque traced onto your photo, you're just going to cut it out with some small scissors and you're just going to cut lightly inside just the line a little bit just maybe an eighth of an inch and then when you're done it should look like this or kind of whatever shape you choose and then I'm going to make sure my t-slots on the right side you're just going to add a thin layer of white wood glue to the top of the plaque and that's what you're going to use to adhere the picture to the wood so once you've got your glue on there like I said you're just going to do a thin even layer of glue and this wood glue dries really fast. This is the same glue we use to um, apply scrapbook paper to wood. And it dries really quickly, which is nice because it doesn't bubble your paper and it's not going to bubble our photo. But you do want to work quickly with it because it does dry fast. So as you're spreading the glue out, just keep in mind to be quick. So then you're just going to lay your photo right on top and when you're gluing make sure that you get your corners and edges really good. Hold on, that doesn't line up. Okay, should I just start, lay your picture? So then once you've got your glue on you're just going to take your picture and you're just going to lay it right onto the plaque. When you're gluing, make sure you, that you get the corners and edges really well so it glues everywhere. And then just kind of line it up. And don't worry if you didn't cut perfect. Like I said, we kind of painted the edges a little bit and that's gonna hide it and no one's gonna notice unless they look really close. And then just kind of smooth it out. If you've got a vinyl applicator, this is perfect to kind of smooth out any bubbles and make sure it's on there nice and flat.
Now you wanna give this a few minutes to dry, maybe 15 to 20, before you go on to the next step. But we're gonna say that's good enough. And what you're gonna use next is our texture cream that you can get from the Wood Connection. This stuff is awesome. Um, it kind of turns your everyday photos into a canvas look and it's really fun and easy to use and it goes a really long way. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take a plastic spoon and you're just gonna put a little dollop right onto your photo and just kind of spread it out. These pictures are so fun for weddings if you're doing a gallery wall, Christmas presents, Mother's Day is what we're doing this one for. And then you're gonna take a foam roller. You can buy these at the Wood Connection for $1.95 or at any hardware store. They're usually just a couple bucks. And you're just gonna smooth, or not really smooth, but roll out your texture cream onto the photo. And as you can see, it's rolling on white, but after about an hour, hour or so, it will dry clear. And just make sure that you kind of roll and cover the entire photo. Oh, that looks perfect. You can already see the texture that it's gonna make. It's gonna look just like a canvas when we're done. Just like that. So when you're done, um, it's gonna turn out just like this one. It has a nice kind of textured feel to it and mom's gonna love it. For more tips and inspiration, you can visit us at thewoodconnectionblog.com. Have a good day.